In this installment, we're going to be going over the NBA Finals bet slate for game number one. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef Dan. I'm here to bring you the winning ingredients for our NBA Finals Game 1 slate we got going on Thursday. I'm bringing you guys this video a little bit earlier so you have some time uh, to go over it, um, put, get some bets out here as well. Um, and then we're going to get right back to that MLB that we've been smashing as of late. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetsJetsD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91. And don't forget about that Patreon. Uh, right now, we're at the home of the YouTube page, currently at 5.57 thousand subscribers. This is the road to 10k and we are well on our way thank you guys so much for showing so much love and support continue to do so um if you're already subscribed like and comment that is super super important if you're viewing this video you already subscribed smash that like button and go ahead and throw in a comment as well if you're not subscribed guys you are missing out on the community that we're building on youtube and on patreon absolutely phenomenal group of guys and girls that we are forming right now so i highly recommend you guys smashing that subscribe button if you're not subscribed all right and now talking about that patreon uh we went one out of three with the parlay plays as you can see here uh the one that did come through was the detroit tigers tigers and houston astros uh this one was one off the la dodgers did not come through Yankees uh, did good and Chicago Cubs came back. I was able to take them live and get them at a very good number. I'm going to show you that ticket here. And this was my strikeout parlay. Uh, the book. Imanaga was one off, Jack Flaherty was one off, and Eric Gady was a little bit short there, but that had some potential. Uh, but for the winning plays, as you can see, my top play, my most confident play was the New York Yankees. That came through. I tried to match the money line there. Um, and this is the parlay I just showed that cash with the Detroit Tigers and Houston Astros. Cubs, like I said, I told you I bet on them uh, live and they were at a very good number at a plus 380. That came through. And then the Detroit Tigers, I loved um, as well in that matchup. I told you in the video here, the better pitcher here was Jack Flaherty and he came up. So uh, guys, if you want the premium plays, you sign up for that link down below for the Patreon. I'm so excited to announce I have partnered with BetStamp and SignUp Expert to provide you guys with an easier way to sign up with any sportsbook in your area. If you go to the link in the description down below, you will be directed to this page you see here. It automatically displays all available sportsbooks in your area plus their current promotions. For example, you could take the plays given in this video and apply it to any other sportsbooks you don't currently have and reap the rewards. Now let's get into the slate. We have the NBA Finals here that's going down on Thursday in the TD Garden here. Boston Celtics going against the Dallas Mavericks here. Um, looking at the current odds right now for game number one, we have the Boston Celtics as favorites here on the money line at a minus 250 with the comeback of the Dallas Mavericks at a plus 200. Point spread is at a six and a half. So that's pretty sizable point spread there. Uh, for game one, it probably gonna it probably will adjust uh, once we get the result after game one, and then we have the total at two fourteen and a half for the public bet percentage here. Eighty six percent of the bets coming in on the Celtics, but fifty six percent of the money coming in on the Dallas there. So public um, on uh, the Boston Celtics with the bets here, but we have sharp money. Um, coming in on Dallas with that plus 200. The point spread, uh, you have 73% of the bets on Dallas and 81% of the money on Dallas. So right now, this is looking like a public favorite here with the majority of the money on Dallas. I mean, excuse, yeah, on Dallas and the majority of bets and money on the point spread. Uh, for the total here, 91% of the bets um, and 97% of the money on the over 214 and a half. And for the injury report, we got some good news for the Boston Celtics here. Kristaps Porzingis 
will play in game number one. Obviously, he hasn't played in a while. Uh, he's going to have to get acclimated and get in the flow of this team here who's been clicking without him. Uh, so I, I think they'll, they'll be fine uh, with Christos Porzingis. We'll see how that calf reacts um, um, in game number one. And in Dallas Mavericks, no injury issues there. Uh, with these two teams here, uh, obviously, they did play each other earlier in the regular season. One game was uh, 138 to 110. That was a Celtics blowout. And the other game was a little bit closer here, 119 to 110. But the, the way that, especially the Dallas Mavericks, the way that these two teams are now are totally different, especially the Mavericks, the way they have ramped up their defense, the way that Kyrie and Luke are playing together. It's a little bit of a different situation here uh, going into game one. So looking at this public bet percentage here, looking at how uh, we've seen Dallas Mavericks for this entire playoff or run here, they tend to struggle in game number ones. All right. They bucked the trend against the Minnesota Timberwolves there. But I think it's going to reverse back here in the NBA finals. Boston, which a lot of people already know, um, they, they they struggle at home. That, that's the narrative here. Boston struggles at home. Boston usually doesn't cover spreads at home as well. I think that's going to change here in game one. Uh, so our plays, our top two plays here is obviously we're going to go with the Boston Celtics on the money line here. I do think the Celtics get game one. And I'm going to also recommend taking the Boston Celtics with the point spread at a six and a half. If you can get a six, I feel uh, I feel even better. But the six and a half, I do think the Boston Celtics will cover in game number one. Uh, Jason Kidd is going to do his tendency here of download information uh, and try and try to steal one in game two here. But I'm going to be going with the Celtics on the point spread, Celtics on the money line. If we're looking at an over under and we're looking at this Boston Celtics team, that's going to uh, if I'm thinking that they're going to cover, I expect a lot of points here and Dallas has to play catch up. So I'm going to be leaning towards the over 214 and a half there as well, since we're going to be contrarian with the point spread. We're going to be uh, ride the public here on the total of that 214. OK, so uh, our plays for game number one will be Celtics on the money line, Celtics minus six and a half and the over. 214 and a half so thank you guys for tuning in let me know in that comment section down below um what are your thoughts on game one some prop ideas as well who is going to go off right will jason tatum finally show up let me know in that comment section down below and guys if you want the premium plays we're going to have mlb futures coming up very soon as well you sign up for that link down below and also if you want to sign up for a local sports book that you haven't signed up for i also have that bet stamp link down below that connects you through all right uh, i'll be back with another vi video very soon peace out